Shalom. Like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations to the Akim out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Uh, today, man, we're gonna uh, kind of go into some things in the scriptures about concerning order in the church, and uh, bring it out for the edification of brothers and sisters who have been uh, concerned about, you know, certain scriptures uh, concerning order. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do? We're gonna start off with uh, with a. Uh, 1 Corinthians 14 37. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 37. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Most High. That's, that's very imperative right there. What Paul is saying is very important because he's not just speaking, giving lip service according to his feelings. Right. He's letting you know that these are commandments that the, the our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai has given unto him to give unto those who are of the church. That's right. That's for them to recognize, you know, what, what the Lord has commanded, what it, you know is commanded of the Father. Come. Okay. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Let him be ignorant. So, you know, we're gonna let the scriptures speak for themselves, and you know, after the scriptures speak, you know, if that understanding is not given, is is not given to you, hey, you know. <laughs> you know, you pray for that mercy that the Most High revealed it to you. That's right. But if it's not given to you, hey, it's not up to us to press upon you to keep on trying to push this word to you so that you can get it. If you're going to be ignorant in this situation, you know, we're going to just let you be ignorant still according to the scriptures. Oh, that's right. Right, you get it. This is Titus chapter 1 and verse 5. For this cause I left thee in Crete that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. See now, order. And see, that's an important thing in this truth. There always has to be order concerning this truth. Because if you don't have that order, you allow, you open the door for Satan to come in and wreck shop. That's right. And so we have, to, we have to go through these things to establish that order according to the scriptures that Paul laid out by commandment of Yahweh Shah. Come on. Well, yeah, so we're going to go into that this, this word in there, uh, wanting. Yeah, this is in the Strong's G3007. The word there is uh, light lipo. It says to leave, leave behind, forsake, for things that are forsaken. Forsaken. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was forsaken, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah so uh, Paul was telling Titus that he was going to set him in order to go to the tree. He left him in Crete to set things in order for things that were forsaken. Exactly. Also, they were left behind. Another definition is to lag, to be inferior. So he's saying that though that what he was doing is setting up the order because if right. he's setting up an order, that means that they had to be disordered. That's right. That's right. right. And that disorder, like the brother was saying, is you really just inviting Satan to basically uh, rule your congregation mm -hmm. because 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 now you're actually operating out of the out of order according to the mm -hmm. spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. And you know, and that's the reason why you know this is important. We go over it. it says even further on. It says to be destitute of, right. mm -hmm. to lack, to be wanting, to fail. So that means if you're not set up in that in a, in a certain particular order, you're going to fail. Ultimately, you're going to fail. That's right. Because it's you know you're not in the order where the Most High can really have, give you that edge. God, you're not right. longer in the edge if you're if you're disordered. And He's going to allow Satan to come through it and destroy you know what you set up because it's not according to the order. That's right. That's right. right, man. So it's imperative that you have order inside the church, man. If not, you'll see guys doing things contrary to the scriptures, and then they'll just compound upon it. Those, 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 uh, the, the, I guess you say those sins that that will be perpetuated just increase. Yeah, you know, finish it off, and then go. Up, so going back <clears throat> into that first, in that Titus chapter one, um, we'll go back to verse five and finish it off. It says. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, and ordain elders in every city as I have appointed thee. Look at that. He told him to set up elders in every city as he has appointed them. The, the scriptures are plain when mm -hmm. concerning that. There's no That's need right. to break it down. No mystery. Yeah, exactly. So that means you can't have a, you can't just have all your elders in one city. Exactly. You can't just have it to where. You're saying that these are the elders, and the elders live in that one area. Right. And everywhere else, they don't really have elders, technically. 
Exactly. Right? Exactly. So we're, we're going to go into uh, what the order is, the mm -hmm. characteristics of these elders that, you know, were to be appointed. That's right. This is verse 6. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, mm -hmm. having faithful children, meaning children that believe. Right, right. Not accused of riot or unruly. Plain, plain to the point. That's plain to the point. So in order for you to be an elder, right? Right. According to the definition that was laid out by Paul to Titus to set up in Crete, which would be also be done in other churches as well. Right. It says that the man had to be blameless, the husband of one wife, and have children that are in the faith. Yep, yep, right? right yep. So that means that you have to teach your kids. So you can't forsake, you, you, according to the to the order, you having kids, man, you have to teach your kids about this truth, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. To keep everything in order. That's right. And also, you got to think about it, all. Mm -hmm. You know, part of the reason why this needs to happen because of the, the, the state of Jake. Jake right. needs examples. Right, and right. The most, high, the most high understood that in order for him to build his church, he had to, he had to re- set up the uh the way a marriage and a family is supposed to look like right because jake even back then you know contrary to what people think jake was catching out mm -hmm. just like today yeah okay and jake was not living in some of them different type of in, in, the, in the regional situations according to the scriptures man mm -hmm. so it's so the most i had to set up men that were gonna be fall un, into these different characteristics to also be an example to young brothers that come in as well. That's right. All right. You know, right. so that way they will know how to operate as well in the event that those men had a family. God. You know, and not every not every man can sit here and act like you know that uh, they're going to be Paul. Right. Right. You can't play that role. You right. can't play that game. You know. Right. Right. So this is what was actually uh, prescribed. Now we're going to go further on. You can uh, you know break it down. This is verse seven for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of Yahweh, not self-willed, not soon angry. Not soon angry, man. Okay. So you just can't you just can't get upset just to have a quick temper, so to speak, man. Right. You can't just be, you know, somebody mess up and then you just automatically just jumping on them, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta be patient in this thing, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta be be uh like it says, you can't be angry in this piece or self willed, man. Mm -hmm. Self willed meaning having yeah. your own Purpose that's yep. outside the scriptures. That's right. That's you right. got your own and self will means you have an agenda mm -hmm. that's outside of this that you really work in deceitfully. That's right. Because really, if you're not setting up the order according to the scriptures, <laughs> you actually got an ulterior, there's, a, there's an agenda yeah. going on, really. Yeah. As to the reason why it's not being set up like this. So <laughs> whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. Right. Filthy, uh, filthy lucre sake. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. You know, hey, like, you out about that cash or whatever. Whatever it may be, man. Yeah. Keep on going. Keep going, yeah. Not soon angry, not given to wine. So you can't be out there hitting that bottle all the time, man. Mm -hmm. You can't be getting toe up all the time if you're the head of a camp, you know, or, you know, in this role, yeah, so to speak. Elder or bishop. Uh, elder or bishop. That's right. You know, you can't be given to that wine, man. You mm -hmm. got to be sober-minded in this truth, man. In right. this position. No striker. No striker. So you're not a contentious person or, you know, Get into physical altercations. Yeah. When you uh, look into that word striker, I, I believe that's uh, that's talking about physicality on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go into that. We'll go into that word striker. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 it's, it's imperative that the order stay according to the scriptures. Because oh. oh, what you got? Not a lot. This is G forty one thirty one for striker. The word there is plate uh, plates or plates. It says, bruiser, ready for a blow. <laughs> so that means you're ready to fight. You That's ready? Right. You, you got your done. arms clean. You got your, your, your right. fist balled up. <laughs> yeah. You you know what I'm saying? You looking at something, you ready yeah. to throw it out. You looking for contention, man. Yeah. You looking for like contention. Ready to go. Right. <laughs> hey, the second word, pugnacious. Think about a pug. The pug got that mad dog face. Yeah, yeah. You always got that, you know, always looking angry like you mad dogging somebody. Right, right. Contentious. Yeah. Quarrelsome person. Quarrelsome person. Look at that. And it says another one when you go into strong G definition, because that was a thyroid definition, a smiter that is pugnacious, quarrelsome. Yeah. That's hey, it. That's it. That's it, man. So, you know, you can't be a striker being being a bishop in this truth, man. That's right. 
Oh, next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not given to filthy lucre. Hey, not given to filthy lucre. All about that dollar, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you you're looking for the material, not the spiritual, man. This is this this filthy lucre is concerning you know things, things of this world, mm -hmm. uh, you know, material things. Yeah, because that filthy lucre, you know, it goes into you know someone that's in a position of power and right. an elder. Mm -hmm. You know, when someone's in a position of power, if they have that covetous spirit and they want to get money, they can end up, you know, making merchandise of the congregation. That's right. That's right. You know, which is, you know, so, you know, that's another thing. That's the reason why these are the different characteristics that have to, that Titus was told by Paul to look for in a man. Right, that's right. Okay. Further on, verse 8. But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, Okay, yeah. so you can't be somebody that's really, you know, a person that, you know, bigs up, uh, you know, wicked men, you know, like wicked men in the world. Right, right, right. Because, right. you know, you got certain wicked jakes in the world, they do something wicked, and you got guys that say, man, I like that guy. Right, right, you right. Know? right. Exactly. I like that right. guy. I like the fact that he did that in the other, man. That's how you got to do these, you know, <laughs> them people or these people, you know? Man. That's that's being a, a lover of good men is a lover of someone who does the right thing. Mm -hmm, that's right. You know what I'm saying? If you see something that's done that's that's done in the right way, you're like, man, I like how that guy did that. Right, you right. Know what I'm saying? I like how he carried this out in this or that situation. And you, know? you see that stuff is lacking in Israel, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Going uh -huh. further on. He says, lover of good men, sober. Here it is again. Yep, it's going to sober. You go going into that one, that drinking again, man. Sober mindedness, man. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. Just Okay, so oh, just that's even talking about even just judging rightly. Yeah, not yeah. perverting justice. It, exactly, right? fair, exactly. not balancing mm -hmm. their judgment. Yep, right. Holy, temperate, temperate, and self-control. Yep, yeah, dealing with that self-control right. again, man. Yeah, you know, because he what he's doing here is is naming those things opposite of what he previous previously went into. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, you're not giving to wine. He's telling you sober. You know, so on and so forth. So, so striker, yeah, not given to filthy lucre. Yeah, that's right. So go on to verse nine. Yeah, verse nine. Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able to, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Sound doctrine, man. Sound doctrine is according to these scriptures, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this this order established right here is is not a mystery, man. It's it's that's right. You can read this word for word yeah. and not have to go into anything as far as breakdowns or whatever. It's given the, the example that you should follow to establish that order, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's key because mm -hmm. because when you look at it, it's that's the way the order was set up. You know, some men will say, "Well, look, you know, Paul Paul was wasn't married." Well, why would Paul? Why would Yahweh Shai give Paul a commandment? Yeah. To uh, to still say that this is how. I want my church to be set up. Yeah. Right. Why did he give an actual uh, uh, an option to say, "Well, look, if the man is not married or whatever, right. he can still be in this position." Because there's a difference between being, you know, uh, an apostle that's set up by Yahweh Shai and then being an actual bishop over a congregation in the city. That's right. Yeah. There's a difference between the two. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, so and really, you can be both. But that's a, that's another piece. That's a whole other uh, another part. But yeah, right. we can just go, yeah. go on to that one. I'm going I'm to jump into uh, 1 Timothy 3, starting from the top. <clears throat> this is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach not given to wine now these are the same things that we went over in Titus that's right he reinstating it to in Timothy that's right and it don't need no breaking down because it ain't no mystery that's right <laughs> not given to wine no striker not greedy a filthy lucre but patient not a brawler not covetous one that ruleth well his own house having his children in subjection with all gravity. That's right. So this this person has that order established, man. Yeah. So you know, if a person who desires this position, you know, he he has to have that household in order before he even touches that church. Yeah, and when you really think mm -hmm. about it, why would the Most High set up uh, 
basically have men come into the faith and then not actually have men that exhibit those characteristics. The right, Messiah right. is not gonna is not gonna leave his his flock out there like that. Right, right, right. It don't make sense for him to not have men that actually would would you know that would not qualify and just have the congregations right. just be without someone who could fit this particular uh, the, yeah. these particular characteristics. Yes, yeah, exactly. They don't do that to his people. Yeah, man. You just he basically right. said it. He basically was saying he's evil. Then. Yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, man. So <laughs> <laughs> this thing is. I mean, it's simple, man. Uh, verse five. For if if a man knoweth not how to rule his own house. How shall he take care of the church of the Most High? That's a question, man. Yeah. That's a question. How will he be able? To, how will he be able to rule the church of the Most High, man? Mm -hmm. Hey, if he if he doesn't have that house established, man, he comes into that the, the church of the Most High, man. That church is gonna be in shambles, man. Yeah. Satan is gonna run rampant through that thing and wreck shop. Bro. Yeah. Right. Satan gonna be gonna be the really gonna be ruling. Right. At right. At that point, because and that's what's gonna happen, and that's mm -hmm. when you think about it. You know, that's how things end up happening, man. That's the reason why you got to, there's volatility. Right, you right, right. Certain, you got, you know, if you're in a disorder, and because that church is really, we know the word there is the Greek word is ecclesia, which means to call out. That's talking about the men, and then the men underneath them in their order, they have mm -hmm. their wives and their kids. Right. So you're talking about a, a man or a group of men that have these characteristics that have to be able to look over the flock in every aspect of what they're doing. The way that those men carry themselves in, uh, uh, in their personal lives, the way they rule their family, right? Like the way they raise their kids, things like that. These are all things that are important qualities that these uh, these men will exhibit. And when you don't have that, Satan can come through and really, man, oh man, man yeah, he can have a field day. Really, yeah, right? man. You look, you look at the, you can see it in the fruit, bro. Yeah, you see it in the fruit. Cause see, if that if that bishop is not in order, man, mm -hmm. all that fruit that he brings in, man, hey, you might as well, according to to Matthews. Hey man, a uh, um, uh, corrupt tree bring it forth corrupt fruit. Yeah. So if he's corrupt, his congregation is gonna be corrupt. That's right. right. And you can't. Hey, God, yeah, I was not to be mocked, man. That's right. He's not That's to right. be mocked at all. And he tells you this question. Read that one more time. Yeah. Right? It's verse five again. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of the Most High? So, now who wrote that, Hawk? We need to find out who wrote that. <laughs> right, right, right. Who's the author of this epistle? Hey, we, we got to look at that. You know, let's go to the first, yeah, yeah, the first yeah, chapter. Yeah, right? the first chapter of Timothy. Let's, let's see who, who's the writer of this, man, because, you know, we got to make sure that we got the right people here, man, that's, that's telling us this stuff. That's right. This is 1 Timothy 1 and 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, by commandment, of the Most High, of God, our Savior, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which is our hope. So this is Paul writing this. Man. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. It's Paul writing this, man. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't, we wasn't saying our own words. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> okay. okay, so this is the Apostle Paul. We know he's an apostle, okay? This is not by the way, like he says yeah, in yeah. another letters, yeah. not by the will of man. That's right. That's but right. by the will of yeah. the most high. By you the got a but, but by the commandment of, of God, I save you, man. Yeah. That's what it says, right? So he was telling the commandments of the that's most high of how to set up the church. That's right. In these different cities. This is the order. He that's says right. if a man don't know how to rule his own household, how would he be able to rule his own church? Yeah. Because see, Paul and the other apostles. They had wisdom about that information. They had wisdom. Right. Even though Paul was a single man, this well chronicle, the most high gave him wisdom. But yeah. even then, he never made himself, he never didn't omit and put in there, well, look, I can qualify too. No, because these are the these are in these different cities, you gotta have this particular order, and that's how it's set up. And all he was doing was as a man that the most high set up as per commandments, he to give commandments to concerning the order. He was just the one that was inspecting and making sure everything was good. Right. That's the reason why he was able to go to Titus and tell him, look, those people out there in Crete, they're disorderly. They're right. wanting. They're lacking. They're failing. They're destitute. Right. Meaning that they're going to fail. It even says the last verse, the last definition says to fail. Right, right. So that means you're on the brink of destruction. Right, right. Because who's going to knock it down? Who's going to come through and knock it down? 
You already know that on the left hand side of Yahweh, that's right. Satan gonna be asking them questions that's to Yahweh. Right. Like, look, you see those men down there? Right, right. They're, right. Acting, they're out of order. They didn't go into the court to the epistles of Paul. That's right. Which to so what you want me to do? <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then, exactly. when, when, yeah. and then the, the Yahweh gonna be like, go ahead and catch rack. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then that's when you're going to see the issues in the congregation and wonder what the hell is going on. Right, right. You wonder why all kind of madness is going on, but you wasn't in order. That's right. You wasn't in order at all. You wasn't in order. So now Satan's going to come through and be stepping all up on your couch. That's, that's right. right. That's right. You go, you know, hey, like, bro. Hey, hey. Catch him right. <laughs> catch him right. Exactly. <laughs> Shoot, man. So he's on to the, to the other verses. Right? Hey, so we, this is uh, verse 6. Uh, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride he fall into that into the condemnation of the devil. Yeah, and then not a novice. You got brothers that actually been in the truth for a long time, been experienced, know that they've been in Israel for a long time, had their wives and families in order. That shows you that those men are not novices. Right, right. That shows you that those men have been diligent and, and they've been keeping to the uh to this word to the best of their ability. You know, and they never stepped away from, from this thing, you know? That's right. So it, so that's why he put that in there. Because yep. if you know, when you go into the scriptures, it refers, it's an interchangeable. Elders and bishops is kind of an interchangeable term. Yeah, yeah. So a yeah. lot of times, a uh, who's a bishop, because they have kids, a wife and kids, they generally will be older than the younger men. That's right, that's right. That's right. So you got young brothers, they might come in at 20, 21, 22, 25, or whatever. They might not have any kids. But a lot of times, that person that would be classified as a bishop, they might be in their 30s or late 20s or 40s. Mm -hmm. Right. They already have, uh, they've already been uh, uh, applying these scriptures in their life, their, their in their family's lives as well. Right, that's, right. That's the key aspect. So, yeah, right. keep going. So, verse, this is verse 8. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double-tongued, not given to much wine, same as the bishops, right? Mm -hmm. Same as the bishops, not greedy, of filthy lucre, man. Hey, man, that, the deacons and the bishops have that same that same responsibility, That's man. Right. Uh, verse nine, holding the mystery of the faith in pure conscience, man. <laughs> hey, bro. And let and let these also first be proved, then let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is. This is uh, that's verse, self explanatory. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's self explanatory. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, verse eleven. Even so, must their wives be grave, not slanderers, mm -hmm. sober, faithful in all things. So that means that this individual has set up an order in his house mm -hmm. with his children and with his wife, man. Yeah, that's to right. To be in order according to the scriptures of Yahweh Shemiah. That's right. That's right. So this is um, uh, verse twelve. Let the deacons. Be the husbands of one wife. Again, there's the one wife again. There you go. So you can't be. Uh, you can't be out there. Hey, even if we, we, we'll tell you legally, we we understand that brothers can't have more than one wife. That's right. Right. You know, but but that that's a whole other subject in terms of how it's it's supposed to be done according to to righteousness. That's right. But right. in regards to this this particular position, the men can only have one wife. That's right. That's right. You know? Can't be out there right. being a Floyd Mayweather, and you're gonna be over it, over, you know, or running around. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? Being Bill Bellamy and how to be a player. <laughs> that, that's right. And thinking that you're gonna be, you know, what I'm saying, be uh, over the over the flock. Yep. It's yep. not gonna happen. Go ahead. And uh, yeah, let the deacons be the husband of one wife, ruling their children and their own house as well. For they that have used the office of a deacon. Well purchased to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Hey man, that's that's a beautiful thing, man. The Most High has the order already prescribed for us, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, yeah, if you're spiritual, it makes sense. It makes sense if you're spiritual, man. Right. If you're not a spiritual, man, you know you got to really look at the situation that you're in in the in the in the, in the body of the church. Is there chaos? Is there confusion? Is there a lot of uh, uh, filthy Lucas going on? Is there a lot of drinking going on? It is. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, is there a lot of contention, contention in there, man? You know, th these scriptures are important, man, for our, for our well-being, man, because this is dealing with the way that I, 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 we should conduct ourselves in this truth, man. That's right. I got something right quick. Uh, this is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16. 
Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. So, you know, it, it's saying take heed, you know, to the doctrine and continue in them. That's right. That's you know? Right. Yep. And some brothers saying we're not in them times to be doing that. Yeah. Right, 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 right. But, yeah. but like Paul said, these things I command and teach. Yep. So take heed and continue in them. It means don't stop doing it. Right, that's you know, right. It don't matter what times you're in. Don't stop doing what he tell you to do. Because that's commandments from the most high. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's like sticking to fundamentals, man. Right. That's right. It. Like, yeah. like when the going right. gets tough, when you got the athlete yeah. in, the, in the game. Yeah. You you know, when you go to the free throw line, you mm -hmm. got to still follow through, right? Yeah. That's right. Right. That's, that's, that's right. These are fundamental principles. That's it. And it tells you that, the, that you know, Yahweh Shah being the foundation, and you see, it goes into the apostles that they set up. They built right. a, a certain way, and they set it up, prescribed it already. There ain't no reason to, to come back two thousand years later yeah. and somebody right. say that it's got to be yeah. different. Yeah. Right. Stick to the game plan. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Is, yeah this is it. This is the it's order. <laughs> this is the yeah. game plan right here. This is what he started. This is how right. it's gonna be. You know. Mm -hmm. You got anything else? No, that's it. Um, sure that. Hey, I nine. got that. Uh, okay, got this it. is. Um, let's see, I think I had it. Second Thessalonians, three and six. Now we command you. Brethren, in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly and not after the traditions which he received of, of us. Woo! Disorderly. So he said, uh, withdraw yourselves. That's right. Because what? Because if you don't withdraw yourself, you're going to be caught up in that distraction. That's right. That's right. That's it right. says, follow not a multitude to do evil. That's right. So if so, if so, if someone is saying that you don't got to walk into the in the order in the which has been prescribed, Paul, the apostle of Yahweh Shalom Mashiach, told those men who hear, withdraw yourself. That's right. Yourself. That's right. That's so right. you got to leave. You got to leave. You got to. You got to get out. Yeah. Hey, lest that thing fall on you and you become as they are. Bro. See ya. Yeah, keep, keep going on that one. Now. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, 3 and 14. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him. Amen. That he may be ashamed. That's right. That's plain, too. Bro. That's the second time he said that. That's plain. <laughs> Read that again, Art. Right? Read that one more That's time. That's a powerful piece. That's Second Thessalonians 3 and 14. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. That's right. Hey, man. You know, hey, yeah. it's a beautiful scripture, man. Hey, you got anything else on that? And hey, that's self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah, that. that's. I mean, it. you're basically, you know, we're you, you go into the order. This is the this is the doctrine that was really given. All right, and there's no reason to remix right. it at all. Right. These are the men. These are the men that the Most High set up that's that right. wrote these things. That's right. Like right? the apostles of Yahweh, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Come. You know, and they, and and so you know, we're just doing this for edification. This is really what we're talking about. This is really what order is. That's right. And if this, if it ain't in this order, don't expect a man that's a prophet or spiritual to respect your order. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and close it out. So again, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, and peace and salutations to you, brothers and sisters throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.